All right, to connect your computer, your robot C uh, testbed Cortex to your computer, you're going to do a couple things. Uh, one, you're going to want to just make sure you download the firmware, and you're going to want to update the Cortex, all right, automatically. So you push OK, and you let that run through for a second. That's going to be important, and it's going to check to make sure they're all updated. You click OK. The big thing also is you got to make sure the battery is plugged in, the switch is flipped to on, Okay, and then your Ethernet cable is connected to both the Cortex and your computer. All right, and then after that, <clears throat> you can go to Robot, and then you can go to Compile and Download Program. So at that point, you're going to click OK. It's going to run through. Okay, um, let me go back there. I just made a mistake, and I'm going to show you what I did because I would like most of you guys to change this. So make sure that it's court or USB only, um, which is it's supposed to be. If you, what most of you are going to have is you're going to have VEX, NET, or USB. And when that is, when you unplug your computer, it will be looking for that VEX NET, and that's a wireless card where when it's USB only, it's only for the USB. When that USB is unplugged, it's just going to remember what you just last did. So that's all set. So once again, we're going to go up here. We're going to compile and download. And once again, I have a pretty simple computer program, so I shouldn't have a problem with it. Everything says OK. And I can start my motor. It's going to run for 10 seconds. And then it's going to stop. And that was my computer program. So as you can see, uh, pretty simple to connect. All right, doesn't take a long time at all. Um, when you're troubleshooting things, just make sure that your sensors are identified correctly, as well as your ports are identified correctly. So you want to go back in there and check that. Okay. So once again, I can X out of this, and then write any other additional code I want to write.